All right, so we're going to do uh, the video that we talked about on uh, some of the other videos that I made, especially the last one last Sunday on 247, about how to do a spot with APRS 2 soda. So this is the Yaesu VX8DR, and I don't know how close I can get. I'm going to show you how to do it. Take note that the bottom band on this VX8DR, this is the, the radio that I'm specifically talking about, shows the APRS frequency of 144.390. On this radio, you have to do this on the B band. So the first thing you have to make sure is that the APRS stuff is activated, which you can find in your manual. I'm not going to go into activating uh, APRS and how to do the tracking and everything else. That's stuff that's uh, maybe I'll do on a subsequent video if you guys want me to. This is going to be one on how you actually do a spot for summits on the air, which I think is a little more applicable to what we're doing today. So when you're in uh, the B band, it shows that. Uh, frequency. If you just tap the menu, make sure I'm hitting it, you see the first thing that comes up is the uh, the coordinates and that little arrow. That little arrow tells you that you have a uh, position and that's because on top of this mic here is this GPS antenna. Without this GPS antenna you're not connecting to the satellites and you're not able to put out an accurate location where you're at. So right now I'm pinging a beacon once every three minutes, just a setting that I put in there. And it's just telling everybody that I'm on this beacon. But it's not telling any of the summit activators that I'm on this peak and I'm ready to activate. So to do that, uh, I'm going to send it to the SOTA website. And that's where APRS 2 SOTA comes in. Careful the wire. So once you're on this side, if you push menu again, menu toggles between all of those, you see the station list come up. Now with the station list up, uh, one thing that that tells me is if I'm receiving station signals, then in theory I should be able to also connect to one uh, as well. So I'm receiving numerous station signals. In fact, if this thing holds the last 50. I've got 50 out of 50, so that means they're coming in on top of each other at their rate. So uh, plenty of stations in the area I'm picking up, especially in Southern California. There's repeaters in the area. I've got the high desert uh, just below me off to the north, uh, Inland Empire. I've got L.A. County. I was able to just talk to Bellflower with 5 watts. So I know that I can actually hit a digipeter and put my signal out. So the next one that comes up when you push menu again, see if you guys can see that right there, uh, that is the APRS message screen. That is where you will transmit and receive from. So the way you put out a message on uh, the APRS screen is you will hit the home RV uh, button down here, which is uh, right next to the button number four, HMRV. Push that and you notice it comes up, edit and two. And then you have your little message screen right below it and you're just gonna type in it using the alpha numeric keypad. So to go to SOTA, one of the things that I, <laughs> I had forgotten I was a little rusty on uh, last Sunday was to SOTA, it's Sierra Oscar Tango Alpha. At one point in time, I was trying Sierra Zero Tango Alpha because on my notes that I had, I didn't differentiate which one was which. I actually did. I didn't put the line through it to make it a zero, but I had totally forgot, and I was trying it both ways until I figured it out. So I'm going to just basically use my keypad, and I'm going to type in soda. So you see soda is in that top part. Now to toggle back there, you can see that little arrow above the A. That tells me which one that I'm on right now, and I could change that. To arrow past that, just push mode, and you'll see when you push mode, that arrow moves. Hopefully you see that. And it should move enough times after about three. Now, now this you probably will not see, but oh, there's a bunch of dots right down here in your message box. That first dot is actually blinking, and that's now telling you that's where you're at in your message. So now all I got to put out is the uh, the actual summit peak that I'm on, which this particular case, I'm going to use the alphanumeric key again. It's whiskey six. Doesn't matter if it's lowercase or uppercase. Nobody really cares. Uh, whiskey six. And then if you hit zero, you get, uh, it's easier to scroll through and you get the slash marks. Uh, whiskey six stroke. Once I find the right stroke, uh, let's see here. Whiskey six stroke. Let's go this way. I think it's on the other side. There's a forward slash and a back slash. I don't know which one's forward or backward. I just know which way it points. It points uh, the other way. So I'm just rotating the dial, and it scrolls scrolls through all the lowercase, all the uppercase, scrolls through everything, 
and I probably passed it and didn't realize it, so I'm slowing down a little bit. There we go. Stroke. Now, because it's on that and I use the dial, you'll have to use mode to advance to the next spot. Now, once it's on the next spot, now I can hit the alphanumeric key. Now I got Charlie. I can go back down here and hit Tango. If I hit zero again, I know that there's the dash. So CT hyphen or dash, whatever you want to call it. And then just keep on doing it. So this is two, four, six. But anytime you hit the zero, like here I made a mistake. I got CTA because I, I started typing in, but you can go back. So to go back, you push the band key. So band is like back and mode is forward to scroll between where you're adding the message. So now I'm back on A. I'm going to hit zero again. And I'm going to go to the dash. Once I find it. And we are almost there. Probably be the last character that I find because that's just my luck. There we go. Dash, mode, and then two. This is four, six. Four. Six. Now, to do it so, I got whiskey tango stroke CT-246, the numerics for this particular summit. So now what I would need to do is I hit, uh, I hit the zero key, and then I just rotate back one. Actually, I hit the zero key twice. When you hit the zero key twice, that'll create a space. And then you just hit mode again, and now you got your space built in there. So that's the way to advance between things. And then I'm going to put uh, what frequency I'm going on. So I'm going to start off on, uh, let's do 7.182. Let's just do 40 meters. And oh, I hear somebody calling CQ Soda on 7.182 right now. Well, hopefully they're still there when we get to it. But uh, with that locked. So we're going to move off of that. So I'm going to try to find a blank frequency first. It looks like 7.190 is clear right now. Is that blowing that out? No, I don't think so. Okay. So 7.190 is the frequency I want to start on. So now I just type in my 7.190. Dot. Mode. One. Nine. Zero. And then I need to put in here because some people do Morse code, of course, and sideband. I'm a sidebander. I don't do code. I've done it to pass my general. I am a slow code general. Uh, so then I'm just going to put SSB. And it's just kind of the way I was telling you about how you scroll through. S A B zero to make my space. Uh, and then, so I've got whiskey six stroke two four six CT two four six space seven dot one nine zero space SSB for single sideband, uh, and then I'm just going to put uh, on now or calling CQ or whatever other message I want. I like to just put something short and sweet, just on now, uh, and that way I don't have to worry about it. On. The other thing too is if you're using the alphanumerics. And like say six to do on the six button is M N O, obviously O N. You'd have to push it twice. Once you get to your O, you're gonna have to hit mode to advance. You can't just keep toggling. So just keep that in mind. That's how you're gonna toggle. And then same thing for now. I got to do it again because N O W. O and then W. So now we're on now. Now oh, that's all we have. Now to to send this signal out, there's this T X P O key, the little star thing on the very bottom left. Uh, just next to the number seven. Let's see if I can get that close enough. This little key right there. So once I hit that, you see that that thing made a signal. I could hear it. And it transmitted it. I heard the sound. You guys probably didn't. Now it says TX4 Soda. The VX8 will automatically send it out five times. It just sent it out once, and the four means it'll automatically send it out four more times in one minute intervals. Uh, until it gets a good signal. Once it gets a good signal, the APRS2 soda will actually respond back to my radio and it will tell me. So I don't have to do this multiple times. I now can just set this thing down for a little bit and wait. And once it gets the confirmation that the spot went through, what will happen is I've got it set up where my little LED light on the front of this 
will flash and there's also an alarm you can set to and it'll make a sound telling you hey uh, you got a message anytime you get a message whether it be from my wife using uh, open APRS app on her phone so I can she can see where I'm at and I can send her messages especially when I'm deep in the Sierras that works really good um, but as soon as that message goes all the way through and hits and comes back it'll give me a confirmation and I just turn up the volume on 7.190 and I wait okay so it just sent a second message because it uh, it's been a minute already and it says TX3 soda now on there. I'll actually show that to you. TX3 soda. So it's tracking away. If you feel you need to, like it's sitting on the ground, you can always take and hold this thing up above your head. And uh, when you think the signal's getting ready to go out or just kind of stand up with it a little bit, give a little more elevation off of the ground, it can help. Of course, I'm just running a little uh, SMA 17 inch small whip antenna on this thing. Hasn't let me down yet, uh, but if you're really in the Sierras deep and you're far away from repeaters, you might need to throw something up in the tree, whether it be a little J-pole or, or you want to run a, some kind of VHF uh, Yagi antenna of some sort, like the Aero Beam. I've got one of those. And you can vertically polarize it and point it on tripod or however you're going to set it up. Hold it with your hand and get a beam out there further. Ideally, you would know which way to, to point it, though. Uh, so now it's just a waiting game. Now all we do is we wait for that signal to go through. It just sent out another signal. I just saw it go. And we just wait. Once that signal goes through, we give it a couple minutes. And what will happen is we'll hear people tuning up on the frequency we're on because they're watching the soda spots. And then away we go. Now we can start calling CQ now. That wouldn't hurt. And, uh, you know, we might do that here in just a second. So now I need to turn the Vox on. So we're going to wait just a minute. When the flash comes through, I will show you that. Sounds like the, sounds like the spot's gone out because somebody's tuning up on the frequency. Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, KG6HQD, calling CQ, CQ, CQ for Summits on the Air. Summits on the Air, Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, calling CQ and listening. Foxtrot, Foxtrot. Uh, Foxtrot, Foxtrot, Kilo Golf 6, Hotel Quebec Delta, go ahead. Alpha Charlie 7, Foxtrot. You are about a five and eight, five and eight into Arizona. Copy the fifty-eight. That's five eight both ways. Five eight both ways. QSL. QSL. Good luck. Hope you make your time. Well, that's pretty cool. All right. So what we're going to do now okay. is we're going to move some things around and uh, just listen for a little bit since the spot's out there. I'm going to talk to Elias about how to speak loud into the microphone. That was his very first time. That's pretty cool. Where'd he go? He's probably digging a hole or something now. Um, but. He's doing the, the voice activated, and for the first time on the radio doing voice activated, it can be a little tough because I didn't explain to him how it worked at first, so we're going to do that. But you can see the spot went out, and that was the purpose of the video. Um, and you know what? I didn't even get a respond message back, but at least the message went out, and that's all I care about. So pretty cool that the, uh, uh, you, know, you can hear him tune up. It worked just as it's supposed to. Uh, park it on there, you wait, and you start calling. So uh, we will... We'll move things around and probably go to 20 meters next.